Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Welcome back to the amazing Daisy editor by um, Inclement Dab. Um, and in this video, I want to show you kind of a little hints and tips um, video about how to recreate kind of vanilla scenes um, from, uh, say, Chernia or Solovonia or other maps um, in other parts of those maps or in other maps as well. So what I'm talking about, say we've got Green Mountain here. Say you wanted to recreate this this area, you know, with um, with a big TV aerial thing, tower, and these buildings here. How could you then copy that and re recreate it somewhere else on this map or on another map fairly easily? Now, th there's obviously a couple of ways of doing it. If you know the names of the particular items here, the structures, you could obviously just import them, place them in the Daisy editor. So. For example, we know, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it tells you what you've got your cursor over. So the bottom of the tower is called um, Land Tower TC2. So what we could do is we could just type in TC2, and then we've got the base, we could plonk that down. We've got the mid, um, we could you know do something with that. We could put that on top of there, or we could take the top, and then, whoop. And then we could you know put that on the top and then we we could do it that way um, however there is another way that is quite interesting and that is using uh, uh, left click and control so if you left click and press control on something on the map and if on the bottom it's in white writing you can click it and it will just copy it straight away so you can do this um, So we just control, left click. And then you could put everything into place. So left click, dunk, left click, dunk, left click, dunk. And we, we're, we're just copying stuff. It's really quick without having <laughs> to know the names of things. And if you see the things, we've got the things up here. Now, I'm not placing everything exactly because obviously in Daisy on the maps, there's lots of variations in heights elevation and the angle that the land is so you're probably gonna to have to mess around with stuff when you get somewhere so the first thing we're going to do now is we're just going to do file uh, s save as and we'll save this and we'll call it um, we'll call it a GM test okay so we we'll just call it green mountain test so we we'll just save that as a DZE file so what that means is that um, we're just packing up but now let's say we wanted to save these objects to use somewhere else what we can do is we can do file, export, oop, export um, to uh, object spawner, and let's call this uh, a Green Mountain test JS for JSON. So we've exported that. So we've now got we've got it as a JSON. Now what we could do now, if we wanted to, we could just go to the top right hand corner and then shift left click all of this, um, and we could go say cut. Go to the map. We could go say up to you know I don't know northeast airfield, and then we could just click somewhere, Control V, paste them in, and then we paste them in, and then we could go around you know we could we could place everything where it should be, you know, and angle everything up, and then we could create our own little green mountain or a different theme on green mountain somewhere else on the map very easily, and then you could save that. As another JSON and then use it as a custom file but the other thing you could do is if we go file exit and we close the editor down and then we open the editor but we open it in Enoch or Livonia and you can do this to custom maps as well um, just remember you, you you have to stick with the basic items that are included in the game so if you're on for example a um, I don't know the Namalsk server if you copy something that's just on the Namalsk server you can't, you, well, especially on console, you can't bring that item over to, um, over to, over to Livonia um, or, or Chernus because th that won't be in the files. You can do it on PC, sort of, if you have the Namalsk uh, mod open in the background, but that's for a different video. So now, if we bring up the map, for example, and then we go File, uh, Import, Import from Object Spawner, what do, what do we call it? We called it um, a. I thought it was at the top, wasn't it? A Green Mountain Test JSON. So if we import that, 
Right, let me see where they are. So they're down here. So it'll plonk them somewhere like this. And then we'll, what we can do is we've got them here, so we can just uh, left uh, left shift click there. We're going to say cut. So we cut them out there. And then we can go some. Let's go somewhere flat again, where so we can play around with them easily. Uh, where's the airfield? There it is. So let's go to the airfield. And we just click somewhere and control V to paste them in. Oop. Where are they? Oh, they're up in the air. Oops. Let's undo that. They're up in the air. So they're up in the air now. So we can just copy them. Click and alt. Bring them down onto the ground. Click and alt. Bring them down onto the ground. Oop, wherever I put that one. Top. Where's that gone? There it is. So you would then put that in the plate where it's going to be. So now, as you can see, we've got the objects roughly where we want them. So we want to create our little green mountain situation. Now you can line everything up nice and exact, you know, using using the arrow keys and you know, alts to make it go slow, that sort of stuff. So everything looks beautiful and teleport in so you can make sure everything's in the right place. Um, and you, you can create your own little version of green mountain with the, with the buildings and the like right here. And then when you'd finish, you go file, export, export as a JSON and then you could use that and you know refer to that in your CFG gameplay on your server and you'd have the other thing. So that means that if you're um particularly uh dedicated you could go somewhere say like Topolin um and you could say actually I really like this area of Topolin. I, I I'm not quite sure why you would <laughs> but, but, but you could and you could you know you could literally be, be control click uh control click Control click, control click, control click, control click, Oop. control click, and then click, control click, and then click. You know, and then you're creating all these objects that you can then export as a JSON to use somewhere else. Um, because one of the more challenging things in Daisy Editor, um, or well, in Daisy anyway, when you're trying to create lifelike places, you know, that make sense, that fit in with the feeling of Daisy. If you're starting from scratch, then we're quite difficult. But, you know, if you're actually copying something, that will give you a really good start to base uh, base um, to start with so that you will have the correct feel of, of, of where you are. OK, so hopefully that's a bit useful. So all you need to remember is that left control, sorry, left click with control. And then basically you, you're copying an item to then create a placement so that you can then export it as a JSON. So then you can use it somewhere else on that same map just by copy and pasting or import that JSON on another map to then um, to then use it somewhere else. Right, there we go. So if you found that useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.